Hello and welcome to the War Bear Podcast. I can never uh, tell we, if he's excited or if he's just kind of like, let's get this over with when he does his intros. He just kind of like, <laughs> it's like, it's like forced excitement. I don't mean to interrupt it's, you or anything. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like every time, and if you listen to every intro he does, it's always like, well, let's do the War Bear Podcast. He's like, I'm going to be excited. Yep. I just want to take a nap, it's just really. A good na- it's just good acting. <laughs> Not really. I, I saw right through it. <laughs> it's because you're here. Sorry. The people at home don't know. I'm pretty sure they could tell. I don't think they can. The lack of enthusiasm you have in your voice. It's not. It's not lack. I'm just. I'm just making it more exciting than what it needs to be. I don't. I don't Are you done? I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the War Bear Podcast. Tonight we're going to be doing another podcast. Thoroughly. from my home. And I'm Jason, and I'm joined by with Brent. And who are you? I'm Thaddeus this week. Thaddeus this week. This All week. right. So two normal guys and one porn star. <laughs> What's going on with you guys? Which one's the porn star? Probably the one named Thaddeus. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I'm a soap opera doctor. <laughs> it's all the same. What do you think they go when they're done doing soap operas? Well, clearly to the showers. <laughs> Wait, no, not like to literally when they're done doing the soap operas. I mean, like after the soap opera wraps up, I think I'm out of work. I don't know. Or, it, well, everyone takes a shower, so like, my answer still stands. Uh-huh. What have you guys been doing this week? Beating okay. my head against the wall. That sounds painful. It's really not, actually. It, it, it relieves a lot of tension. From stupid people. <laughs> By physically harming yourself. You'd be surprised how often that helps. Doesn't sound like it helps anything at all. <laughs> Just makes it sound like you're getting hurt. Yeah. Don't self harm people. It's no. not worth it. Out of all the all the people we've lost this year, you could have had that warning maybe a month or two ago. Like it would have mattered. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like like Robin Williams would have been like this War Bear podcast saved my life. Oh, this is getting dark. <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. He was he was a big nerd. He could have been carousing the internet and stumbling These across. These guys really do care. And a lot of people cared. You know what, Jason? We could have saved him. We could have. Could have. This is all your fault. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, I was waiting for clearly him to go into the wrestler. Fault. Clearly it's not my fault. I'm not the brains of the operation. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> You just came up with this whole self-harming... Uh, it's been around for generations. I don't know what you're talking about. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then you go to a concert just the other day? I did. I went and saw The Offspring. and The they Offspring? Were, the Offspring. It of who? My loins. <laughs> Your daughter did a concert. <laughs> it was magical. She sang I'm a little teapot short and stout and her mom popped out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's... Uh, Tad turned another one gay. Way to go. <laughs> another one bites the dick. <laughs> Wait, that's not how that song goes. Sorry, Brent. Didn't mean to spoil your fun. <laughs> no, I went and saw The Offspring, Bad Religion, mm. Stiff Little Fingers, and I saw, Naked Ray Gun. I saw a 10 second clip from your friend on Facebook. Yeah. Which I was like, what was the point in that? In a 10 second clip? or? Yeah, it was just, just a 10 second clip. <laughs> was like, just be like, <laughs> this is happening. Yeah. yeah. Again, it wasn't um, even during what was happening, though. It was like probably halfway through when uh, it was happening. It was. It was a really good show, though. Like, it was, it, it made me kind of realize, I didn't really stop to think about it, but, like, you don't realize how much stuff is, like, embedded in your memories that you don't even, like, understand to get older. Like, there's so many songs The Offspring played that when I was, like, eight or nine years old, I'm listening to it, like, in my room, and the moment I start playing on that stage, I'm instantly back in, like, the eight, nine-year-old kid in my bedroom. Like, same actually, mentality and everything. Was, actually, I, I, I did realize that, because I am much older than you, and I've had those kind of experiences already. I didn't say you 
I'm just saying. Specifically, I'm saying as a, as a general as a general rule, most people don't stop. As a realize, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize the significance that. I think younger people don't realize it. That a lot of like music and movies and art and culture mm-hmm. uh, play do. on your psyche. That it goes with you throughout your lifetime, and yeah, it'll just like anything can spawn memory, and it's just. How much drugs did you do at this concert? No, I was, I was pissed <laughs> off though, because there's like four or five times where like it I just I like put my movie. nose in the air and was like, and you smell it, and it was it was good stuff. <laughs> and it probably was. And I'm looking around, I'm like, where is it at? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find these people, and I didn't. I did meet some cool people there though. Like there was one guy, um, he was wearing a long leather trench coat mm-hmm. and this little hat. And I may have called him a terrorist mm-hmm. on purpose. I just kind of like walked it? up. What kind of hat was it? Oh, it was hard to describe. It. Um, was it a turban? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, it looked like one of those like British hats you see like Watson wear in Sherlock and, and Sherlock kind of thing. That make any sense? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean uh, the new show Watson? Or the new show Sherlock? Is that a yeah. Bowling or something like that? Not a bowling hat. No. I'm trying, I'm trying to think <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it is a... You need, like, the old the old Watson... He's talking about the new show. Yeah. It's... Sherlock no, with the guy was, that did... Uh, was Khan and Star Trek and Darkness. Uh, Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch, yeah. No, like, he was... We uh, we, we went out of the gates because we, we had to go get our to the car because I had a t-shirt and a ball and it was, like, 50-something degrees out so I'm freezing my balls off. Mm-hmm. And I won my sweatshirt. And as we're going out, I see him stand next to the road, and I was like, I gotta talk to this guy. So I walk over to him, and I like, I just go like, Hey, how you doing? He's like, pretty good. I'm like, hey, just you know, we're cool. You don't have to blow me up. And the look he gave me was, what? <laughs> yeah, he maybe called him out on something. <laughs> he just kind of gave me a look like, get the fuck away from me, weirdo. And I was just like, I'm not gonna blow you up. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we're cool, bro. We're cool. That is kind of. I was like, I'll see you later, man. He's like, yeah. And I saw him later in the concert. I was like, hey, bomb buddy. And he was like, uh. I'm surprised you didn't get punched. And then he, he turned the other way. And like, he saw me one other time. And I was like walking up the hill. And he was walking down the hill. And he made an exact right turn. Didn't even go anywhere. He just turned away from me and started jumping the way. And I was like, huh. You're stalking him. <laughs> no, that was just happy stance. But the coolest dudes I saw there, there was one guy, he was a special needs dude, and he was in a motorized wheelchair, and he has no function over his entire body. He's so like what Stephen Hawking is? Yeah, kinda. And this dude was yeah, like, cool. like, he was my fucking hero of this thing. He was like, uh, it Did was he during... He walk? He, he couldn't walk and do oh, nothing. That would like, be amazing. He, no, like, <laughs> he was my fucking hero, because Where like... Was a hero? He, uh, during uh, Naked Reagan, I was like, standing... Did he, like, rule the mosh pit? Because <laughs> he probably... No, no That's I was... kind of cheating. I was... <laughs> that's, a, that's a demolition derby, not a mosh pit. At that point, yeah. <laughs> but I was standing next to the uh, uh, the sound area where like, they have all the mixing boards and stuff while Naked Reagan was playing. I just happened to look over, and this motherfucker's uh, wheelchair apparently can recline, and this dude is, like, at a complete, like, right angle. So his feet are sticking straight up in the air, and all I see is his head just nodding, 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 and his eyes start fucking like going crazy and shit when like they do like a big drum solo and shit. And I'm just like, I love this dude. Did you get his number? No, I thought it'd be awkward. <laughs> just just think think about that sex. It's like I don't know if any like what <laughs> bring, bring a condom or bring like a wow. I I was like just joking. You're not really deep into that. <laughs> like you may have thinking of that thought. <laughs> It popped in my head, guys. All right. I'd fuck a cripple. You know? Okay. <laughs> but there was another dude there, and he was probably my favorite dude of the night. And I, I didn't even talk to this guy because I was, I was too shy to talk to him, which is weird for me to do because I'm not that shy of a person. But the, he had tight leather pants on, uh, black leather boots that came about halfway up his shin. He had this short sleeve t-shirt on, a leather vest, big 80s metal band hair, and he had this itty bitty cowboy hat that was just stuck on the side, and I was like, I want to talk to this guy, but I totally bitched out. 
Were, were there any women there? Yes, yes. Because <laughs> you've talked about all these guys, and I probably, when I go in public, I never notice pe- guys, at least. I know that. I, I know that everybody. You notice everybody. I don't discriminate, you know. Thank you, Brett. Girl, guy. Cow. <laughs> Cripple, well, crazy. Cow if, I saw one. <laughs> if that was a cow, just struggling along, it probably like, wow, why is there a cow here? It's, a, it's an odd day in hell when Brent had my back on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I don't have your back, it's just, no, just no, noticing it. There was a few things. Like weird observation. I had gotten, I, wait, I remember we got there, uh, we got in line to get some drinks and stuff, and this girl in front of me, she had gotten this big guitar shaped cup, and I don't know what was in it, but it was like, I have to have that. And like they start giving me my drink, I gave him my ID, and it was like, you don't have a wristband. Yeah, but I have my. It's okay, so I can't give you a drink unless you have a wristband on. So I, I had a wristband on. Up by the gate, but they sent me first over to the stairs to the VIP, and they're like, oh no no, you have to go up to the gate. And I was like, oh okay, so I go up to the gate, and the guys like, oh no, you have to go over to this girl over here, and it's like. Why doesn't everyone just carry a fucking wish? That's why, like, <laughs> when you when I would have first gone in there, like, how do I get alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the alcohol? How do I get it? Do I need any proper? Uh, what do I need? Oh, I didn't even think about it because, like, most other shows they go to, they card you before you go in. So if you're underage, they put the stamps on your hand so that right. the bartenders can't serve you and shit. So I was, after well, I have stamps, like, really easy to fake though. What? It's yeah. probably why they don't do that anymore. No, the stamp is so you can't get... Right, but who can't lick off a fucking stamp? A permanent marker is kind of hard to get off. Yeah, I mean, you could bring shit with you. Get off permanent marker. Yeah, maybe, but... You can bring fucking, up fucking cotton swab with alcohol yeah, on it. But I've never, <laughs> I've never had that issue before. So it was just... It was, well, I'm just saying, it's probably... It was a weird thing for me. The fact that I had my ID, and they're like, oh, I can't give you this stuff. So after, like, a five, six-minute round trip of trying to find these fucking wristbands... I find my wristband to go back down there. I had to stand this fucking long ass line again. I was like, just shake my arm. I'm like, I got a fucking wristband. I'm like, all right, what'd you want? I don't know what. She, whatever that one girl had, with the big cup, and then she's like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, you're just describing. You as a poor bartender. You're like that one girl. <laughs> like, you know first, how many the people are here, asshole. asshole. <laughs> well, the other girl, like, she goes, she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. The other one who was making the drink saw me, and she's like, oh hey, and she's like made it up and she's like here you go and it was like fucking finally and it was delicious okay. <laughs> like it was totally worth it and I had like a couple hot dogs it was great see I can't stand that shit because I always feel like I only went to one and I felt like I got ripped off the whole day now when I you say ripped off you <laughs> do you mean like <laughs> <laughs> I go get food Wait, what? <laughs> like, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I yeah, just ignore I mean, him. You just made sound effects and you didn't even make sense to me and I'm standing here. What the hell is... Actually, you're <laughs> sitting there sucking it up through the bong, bitches. Oh, you got ripped? Yeah. Is that what... Like, you're making a marijuana joke? <laughs> wow! I'm not above that. <laughs> that, that sounds fine. It's not the wrong guy. It just didn't make any sense. It's not your fault. You need to make like the the the, the chirping noise, like the the water. I'm not good at making those noises. Then why even make the show? <laughs> because I will try. I had no oh, idea I what the fuck once. you're talking about. I'll try anything once. That's fine too, but just describe it. So angry. Well, anyway, I felt like I got ripped off. Go get a hamburger for a. This thing wasn't even the size of a McDonald's. Dollar hamburger and they wanted ten dollars. No, I paid five bucks for a hot dog and it was delicious. It was, was a freaking little hot dog. You paid five bucks. How did you not feel like you got ripped off? It, no, no, it wasn't a little hot dog. The motherfucker was huge. <laughs> like, it was like cock size of a hot dog, alright? Like, well, that's not saying much <laughs> coming from you, I, but. I, you're Says the guy wearing the Yoda shirt. Okay, okay. <laughs> For people that are listening, who cannot see Tad's hand, <laughs> Sorry. could you like at least describe that in inches or centimeters or like quarter sized? 
It was at least a, a two inch diameter of a hot dog. Okay. Like it, it was a big juicy. Like Browers. Yeah, but it was like it was 100% beef and it had a poppy seed hot dog bun, which I'd never had a poppy seed bun before. Like on a hot dog, and it was fantastic. Like, that sounds like a gourmet hot dog. That sounds like something that's worth five it was, bucks. It was five bucks. Like, and you could get like, you can go up to like six and up to like eight bucks and put like fucking like jalapenos and like chili and like. And, like Make all sorts of shit out of it. Where is this at? The Scott Street, right? Yeah, and oh. they had like they had a Famous Dave's there and a Dom- That's Domino's cool. and like it was it was pretty sweet. Like, yeah, you had a good time. I had a blast. That's good. Fucking I froze my ass off and it started raining on me. Mm. Yeah, I lost like twenty bucks at the casino. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, well we were trying. Uh, the guy who went uh, wanted to get a hoodie, but he didn't bring enough money, so it was like. Being genius as we are, we're like, you know what? Let's just go to the casino. We'll just make sixty bucks. Nope. Nope. Lost sixty bucks. <laughs> no. He he had like ten bucks left. Between two. And it. within within twenty minutes, I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's never a good bet to go to the casino. He he put ten bucks in. He was gone. I was like, you know what? I got twenty. I got down to like nine fifty. I was like, no, I need that for gas. I don't know. Well, I was in Vegas. I was gambling because why not? It's Vegas. It's Vegas. And like I spent 40 bucks, I think. And I lost it all. And the last thing I hit was like a slot machine. I got 40 bucks. It's like done. <laughs> broke even. <laughs> I broke totally even. I was like done. And well, I could have made like 200 bucks because that's the cashier lady handed me two. Two hundreds, and I was years. like, uh, "This isn't right." She's like, "Oh my god, thank you." And I was like, "Do I get a prize for like being right? honest?" Yeah, being you know, honest. <laughs> no, I just got my twenty bucks. So, yeah. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> and like, I felt kind of bad too because at the same time, it's like, yeah, all these people in Vegas. She's probably used to giving out hundreds, so she just instinctively started giving me hundreds, and then I was like, "No, I'm." I'm a loser. I didn't make that much. <laughs> I just kind of need money back. Right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I, I spent an uh, hour playing your games and didn't win anything. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd never been in a casino before this, so I've, I've, I've never really right. gambled. So I don't know, neither of us have, and right. so we don't know what the fuck we're doing. But we don't, but we're too, like, have, we have too much pride in ourselves to stop and be like, excuse me, can you teach us how to gamble? Like... <laughs> It's easy. Just give me your money, and then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you right now. <laughs> hey, give me a dollar. Uh, that was not a good experience. Like, it just—it uh, really brought me down emotionally. And then I went out when we, as we were coming back out, we missed uh, stiff little fingers, and uh, so it was like a that, casino in the concert. It was at the Harris. The cas- oh the the yeah, concert the, was yeah. oh okay the, they had the, like outside yeah the stir cove is it's the this, stir concert cove yeah it had this, this I mean, I've never been there so. it's the, you yeah, I've been to West for Amphitheater no really no I don't go to concerts oh, okay well it's, <laughs> it's this open little uh, area area it's mm. really really nice like mm, sure it is I I don't like crowds of people I'm just uh, drunk people too so. did you go to the Family Values that was here back in the Family Values store with corn and stuff? Yeah. No. I thought you went to that. No. I knew about it. Didn't go to it. See, I like going to I like going to shows. I don't like crowds that much either and I try and avoid them as much as I can. That's why like when the offspring is playing because I'm, I'm not a short guy. I'm like, I'm like 5'10 maybe 5'11-ish. But when everyone else is like six foot something and their arms are in the air and they outweigh me by at least 100 pounds, there's no way I'm going to that crowd because I will die. I don't know, it's that. I just, I just don't like annoying drunk people. That's why I don't like going to bars. Eh, it just, they just me. like people get to a stupid state and just like, and just like, I don't want to be around that. That's just personal preference. <laughs> I'm not opposed to like bars, but concerts are worse because it's just a lot of drunk people. Yeah, and there's a lot of emotions running high. Yeah, because you're there probably for a particular band, yeah. and 
once you have it go up and you're just like what it's like I don't know cause I, I if you could make the argument you could just listen to them on the way there you might listen to that band on the way there so what's the point going to the concert but then it's, I had it's that, the the feeling of seeing them live, well let's say like it's, I, I, it's more intimate than I, just, I, I had that experience recently when we went to some Ghostbusters at the theater cause it was like should I go see Ghostbusters in the theater I could just watch it I may have seen it about a thousand times it's, it's a and then when you watched it, it was amazing. In the theater, I was like, this is awesome. This is better than the TV. It, it's, a, it's a different feeling, and it's yeah. natural. It, it's, essentially, it's its natural habitat. It's like, I can understand that at the same time. I, don't, I just don't like concerts, I guess. Like, but like I would, bands are meant to be seen live. Like If you just want to well, listen to like fabricated music, I could do that on my computer right now if I wanted to. Not very well, obviously, because I don't have any practice in it, but it's possible. You could compare yourself to like a mainstream band. I could. Like, <laughs> like anyone with a computer or even like a a smartphone can make mainstream music nowadays. Like it's not hard to do and you can fabricate it up so well and just yeah. like adjust your vocals to whatever it is you want it to be and you can sound A lot of the guys do that in the industry. I know. Like it's, that's <laughs> why everyone sounds the same pretty much now. Like yeah. there's no uh, originality. There's there's no creativity. There's no uniqueness guess, uh, to anybody really anymore. You can say that about a lot of movies too. Yeah, the creative juices have kind of run dry. Well, you know, well, yeah, the problem is you know, there's a business and there's art. Art and business don't mix very well. Plain and simple. Is that why they got divorced? They never were married. <laughs> It's it's they just had a the love business style side of it. Steven Spielberg. The bi- business side will always outshine the art side of it. But the art side of it is why people go to it to begin with. You just gotta hope enough the art side shines through. Yeah, well, a lot of times, sometimes it does, but it's just really stupid. Mm-hmm. Just the studios want you know PG thirteen crap. Because of like, you know a lot of people have no chance to go see it, so there's the business side of that. But some movies need to be R, plain and simple. They just won't work PG thirteen. Oh, Ghostbusters is PG, and that thing works fantastic. Yeah, well, that's a little bit before the rating system, but the rating system what it is now is completely different. Like it, Ghostbusters wouldn't be PG thirteen. It's like Care Bears today. and Dino Raptors. Yeah, but something like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. It doesn't have to. It's science. Second like Care Bears. Lemons. Care Bears is science. I want to see a Care Bear Power Ranger crossover. I don't. The Care Rangers. That's not a crossover. Or the Power Bears. Crossovers were the two. I know. But that's, what, I, that's what I call the episode. You, the, the Care Rangers. Where like the, the Rangers are having... Emotional issues, and the Care Bears have to help them through it because Tommy is not being nice to Jason. That sounds stupid. You're stupid. Well, <laughs> anybody watch that? <laughs> the only reason I watched that is like in the hopes that one of the Megazords like stepped on the Care Bears and killed them. But three words: Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> hey, that's What's that have to do with anything? There wasn't even Care Bears in that. I know, what well, kind of feet. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Chewbacca was like, Those are fucking six feet tall. <laughs> they are Care Bears on steroids, I'll give you that. They're but not Care Bears, bears, bears nonetheless. <laughs> care Bears on meth, how about that? Can we, can we agree the on Care Bears? Meth makes you taller? <laughs> it's prestigious. <laughs> taller. You see those eyes? They are dead inside. Doesn't that mean it's, it's height? That's, that's, the, that's like Braveheart after a like, <laughs> What? <laughs> What's Braveheart have to do with this? <laughs> What's that very called? Tenderheart. Tenderheart. It's like Tenderheart after having to spend five years on the street working for his money, if you notice. Know hey, Tenderheart was a lion. Yeah. They, those are the cousins. They're not the so, killers. So? What is your point? Wait, are you hating against cousins now? I'm trying to understand your idea. You racist. Against cousins? Yes. I don't think that's a race. You're kind of interested. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race of thought. <laughs> it's a, it's a form it's of... It's a uh, subculture of human beings that no one cousins? can understand. Well. I think it's just a, uh, a name for a family 
family diagram. Words. Yeah. yeah. That one. So, Brent, <laughs> how do you feel on the Cousin Careberry debate? It's not a debate. <laughs> shh, shh. I want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys to bring it back to something. We never got off of nothing, though. Like, hey, what were we talking about? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. that was the point. I was talking about the rating system in movies, and you went off on this whole damn Care Bear and Power Ranger thing. You're, you're gonna tell I was me, trying to understand. You're going to tell me the Care Bears versus the Power Rangers wouldn't be fucking epic. Are they versus or are they teaming up? <laughs> well, you I said thought, crossover! <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, there's a misunderstanding. You said that they were going to help each other. There's a misunderstanding. The, the Power Rangers think the Care Bears are being sent from, like, uh, uh, I forgot, Zod? Zod? Not Zod. Zod. Superman's in this now? <laughs> My brain is not work. It's late and I'm fucking exhausted. So let me. Focus my <laughs> mental energies. What is the guy with the Z? <laughs> <laughs> what guy? <laughs> he has the brain poking out of his head. What the fuck are you talking about? Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, Power Rangers? Yeah, what are you talking about? That was uh, uh, Zed. Z okay, I'm off by one letter. Super. Zod? Zed? Yeah. I think that's what this E. Yeah. There's no O. I was off by one letter. You're off by one letter. Yes. No, Z you're off by two. Z E D, Z O D. I don't. There's no. There's no E in Zod. I knew. Oh my <laughs> god! I was not getting this. You s replace the O with the E. You get Z. Yeah. Yeah. I'm off by one letter. You're off by two. I'm off by two. Z has two E's. Oh, I'm gonna oh hit you. You're <laughs> useless today. I'm going to hit you so hard <laughs> with Brent's leg in a kicking motion. Therefore, you have now been kicked by Brent. Okay, well, Zed's there. What the yeah, fuck so else going on? So they think that the Care Bears got sent down by Zed. Why did you go Rita? It would have been easier. Because I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> but I remember the brain guy, and I knew he had a Z, and he... I don't know. So they get sent down... On the little rainbow thing, right? Because they feel like they have to come down. In the car, or are they going down the rainbow bridge? Rainbow bridge. Okay. And for some reason, the Power Rangers see them as a threat. Because they are the rainbows, and they think they're a threat? even though They're, they're coming from the sky, like, oh no, let's go Even though them when up. the Power Rangers teleport, they make, like, a rainbow, like, a type. Oh yeah, it's copyright. They're like, we can't have them using our rainbow effect, and then they... So they are coming down in anger. The, which ones? The Care Bears? No, Power Rangers. The Care Bears are coming down to help Billy with his problems at school. With Who's uh, bad at who? <laughs> oh, give it up. No, I'm <laughs> saying, who's bad at who? Who cares? Who's, who's bad at who? He, because you're saying like they're going to be attacking each other. Yeah, who cares? Because it's a misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding. On whose part? The Power Rangers think the Care Bears are coming down to threaten Earth like they're a monster. With the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. Because they're using the same type hey, of technique that they're they're using. They're below the church belt, all right? Rainbows coming out of the sky are very threatening down there. Power Rangers was never a Catholic or church-like It is ship. now. <laughs> it never was. Like, this was ever going to happen. Like, you're, you're assuming you're sticking You said Power you Rangers. wanted this crossover. <laughs> I do, but I want it up here in my brain area where it can make sense. Yeah, it's not going to make sense there either. Your mom makes no sense. She doesn't. I know. I'm glad we agree on something today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Brent, Power Rangers or Care Bears? Who's gonna win? Neither. Why are they fucking fighting? <laughs> Why not? Give it up. Who cares? Move I, on. I care. <laughs> Why can't they fight? The the Care, care Bears, Bears have no fighting abilities. They have the Care Bear stare. Yeah, they they care. They don't fight. They had the Care Bear stare, bitch. That was never a form. That was only like a form of defense. It was never like fighting. They had no martial art. They had no. What's no, it gotta be martial arts for? Like if they, they have stand no back, fighting abilities. If they can stand back and they hook their arms together and they see the Green Ranger coming at them, he's like, Arr! and there's like, Care and Bear? he's gonna fucking murder him because the Power Ranger's not a threat. They're not even bad guys. The stare doesn't work against. 
It only works against bad guys. Care Bear stare onto the Green Ranger. And it's not gonna do it, jack shit. It calms him down. It he wins. turns into a giant softie. They become friends. They form a team. Now you have the Care Rangers, and they go and beat up Zed and Rita. Why? Why do they and have power? Why do the, why do the Care Bears have Power Ranger powers? They don't. They just work together. The Care Bears don't have Power Rangers. You said you said they were Care Rangers. Yeah, that's their that's their makeshift team name. They're the Care Rangers. You got the Care Bears and the Power Rangers. The They've never done that before. So why would they do that? Because I said so. This is stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> this whole thing is dumb. Like, You're dumb. You're making, you, you could have made this interesting. And you didn't even try. <laughs> I was trying. You just hate Care Bears. I don't hate Care Bears. You hate bears. Are you afraid of bears? No. Is that why you don't poop in the woods? I have pooped in the woods. The bear? Oh, I there's no bears around here. I would if there was. I know a few bears. Those don't count. They do too. Oh, those guys are just like gay lovers. Yeah, they're bears. <laughs> <laughs> they don't count. Why not? Like, would I hey, poop hey, in the hey, woods you? if they were there? Yeah. I don't see why not. If I have to go, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> bear. I'm not worried about being attacked by them. <laughs> you said you're gonna be attacked. Why do you want them to attack you? Are you, afraid, are are you afraid these guys are gonna attack Why would I be afraid if there was a bear in the woods if other than an attack? Well, some, they're not that threatening. Like, they won't You're just, the one asking it. I'm, I'm asking you. Why would I be afraid you, if you're I'm asking about the other bears, right. not these bears. Like, what's the difference? What bears are you talking about then? The bears with the hair. <laughs> which ones are those? Because obviously, I obviously didn't know. The bears that are around here, not like the not like the the, the animal mer, mammal bear who eats fish and lives in the woods, but the bears that I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't be scared of those either. Okay, let's just those. call this podcast. Had a Jay's bitch fest. <laughs> it's not a bitch fest. It's a lively discussion. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand what you're getting at. You're never gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> I think I made a lot of people understand where you're getting at. Uh, no, I don't think anyone does. If I think they've come up to a couple of conclusions. What conclusion is that? I we have to ask them. I like rainbows and bears. <laughs> <laughs> the bears. The Care Rangers. The Care Rangers. Da! All right, I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm bored. I'm with that now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so our just drops it, eh? It's, 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 it's all over. About with. time. Because well, Tad says it's over. We're done talking about it. <laughs> it was my topic that you rudely interrupted me on. What do you want to talk about now? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Hey, Brent, you haven't really said much. What do you want to talk about? Words? Or things? Yoda? Either of you go out and get the... Uh, Winter Soldier. No. I was going to. I saw it. But then I went and paid some bills. Yeah. That's pretty much what happened here, too. <laughs> and then I took a nap. So. <laughs> I, wa- I watched clips on YouTube, and, like, the really be- the good parts. I didn't. And it's like, well, I got this to tide me over until I buy it, so. I apologize for the uh, cricket, but he wanted to join in. Motherfucker can't shut up. I know. They just do that to get laid. I am fucking a cricket. <laughs> you might have to take one for the team. <laughs> I, See, yeah. shut it up. Because he's all excited. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel my eyes on it. <laughs> no, you start no I, did, I didn't buy the Winter Soldier. Did you buy the Winter Soldier? Yes. Did you buy it on DVD or Blu-ray? I bought it on Blu-ray. I wanted the Blu-ray digital copy and all that, but they didn't do their open day special, so I wasn't spending 30 bucks. Out of curiosity, who all actually uses the digital copy of it? I've used the digital copy. Really? I, I have, like, There's a lot copies. of the time, the digital copy is just the regular DVD, and I can play that on other stuff. Oh, but I have, like, so. the digital copy. The little code and whatever crap. Yeah, I've never. I've tried doing that once. That's what I'm talking about. Cause like I, I have uh, yeah, so many uh, things where like you get this. I had a, I had a laptop where I did that once and I downloaded I think King Kong. Nice. Yeah, it was on my laptop. I, I played it. It was like it was good. I was gonna do it on my PSP because I had to do it on the laptop to my PSP, but I didn't, I have a memory card big enough for the movie at that time. So yeah, I it's had pretty a cool. Four gig memory stick and I had. 
probably six movies on there until my dog decided he needed to chew it up. So, no, I haven't. Which is more. weird because that dog has like a shoot load of toys. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's a good reason not to have a dog. Or a good reason why I wouldn't have a dog after that. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. Someone's it's taking a long walk somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going? Uh, probably. I don't know, somewhere. Not here. Hey, it's never ha- I don't have a dog for that to happen. So I, I'm talking talk about stuff. being like one of those assholes that take their dog out for a walk in the, as they say, going for a walk in the middle of the country and let it off the leash and just disappear. No, I probably That is would. heartless. I would have to kick you right in the nuts <laughs> if you did that. I'd probably try to find a home for it, but if I couldn't find one, it might end up doing that. I'd kick you out of the house. Like, I wouldn't tell you to begin with. I wouldn't have a dog to begin with. I don't want a dog. Well, then, price is averted. I'm not going to hit you the nuts for that. Yeah. No room for a dog. I don't you seem more like a cat person anyway. No, I'm more just cats. Well, that's weird. No, you just, you, I just get that vibe of, like, if you were going to have something, you'd have pussy around you. I would. But not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Anyway, so, Winter Soldier, did you enjoy your movie, sir? Yes. Yep. <laughs> he went by. <laughs> I already <laughs> watched it. It would be bad Four if he times. Like, to be fair. <laughs> if he body was like, this movie sucks. Just to be fair, I bought Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all I can <laughs> did say. You watch I'm that? sorry. Did you watch that at the theater though before you bought it? No. That is your mistake. Yeah. <laughs> but I got it for discount. It was only like Obviously. I mean, so, <laughs> they just someone handed it to you when you walked in the door. You're like, hey, do you want this? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. yeah. Well, hell yeah, I want this. And I watched it. And we also got free copies of Last Ender, too. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> you're not even being funny right now. You're just, <laughs> you're just being Yeah, mean. because it's the only way they can get rid of this shit is that they give it away. You're just being <laughs> mean now because you're hurting me. On the inside. They're like, Last Airbender, the cartoon, or the movie? Like, the, the movie. movie. <laughs> the the no. show was fantastic. Like, well, I'm just saying, if you... If you I if was you, a huge fan of the show. And I kept hearing everything... I, I seen the previews of it, and I'm thinking, no. Not going to go see it. Came out on DVD. I rented it. I had to, just out of pure morbid curiosity. That was your first mistake. <laughs> And thinking it can't really be as bad as people are saying. Oh no, of course. And I hadn't heard anything about Dragon Ball, so at the same time I rented Dragon Ball. What is wrong with you? And talk about an epic fail of a rental night. That's like watching the room after watching Birdemic. <laughs> he has probably never watched either one of those. I has no. no idea what you're talking about. They're all well, they're only saving races, they're like independent films, like your movies actually. Well, no, really they're they're saving graces. They're so bad. They're actually kind of funny. <laughs> Whereas the other two are they so bad. That's just sad. Makes you feel pain inside. I don't even you think I finished f- all well, the of big, the last Airbender. I think at the end I was just so. The biggest mistake there was the fact that they tried to do it because that's it's a medium that spans several episodes and trying to condense it you're going to lose a lot that yeah. makes the show good the either that, way the thing that really killed it for it though was it took key parts of the show you talking about the last airbender or dragon ball the last airbender last airbender and they took key parts of the show like the, the main cliff notes of the first season that you really need to get the story across but then they changed it like to something completely different so it was like well it still happened but it's a different person that does it, and in a different place for a different reason, and it makes no sense. I to me I, I think the movie could have worked if like a couple things would have happened, and Night Shyamalan did not direct it because that's not his. Well, it's just not his style of movie. Well, I heard he didn't give a lot of uh, leeway on it. Like, he didn't have a lot of creative control over it. That's bad too. Yeah, like. They but at the same time, he, it's not. It's not his genre. It's not. We've never seen him do a movie like that. No, no, it's not. So, why the fuck was he trying to do a movie like that? Other than the fact, I get he likes the show and that's cool. A lot of people like the show. But it's not his style off the gate. Like, he is used to making his uh, deep thinking movies. 
twist. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, not all of his movies had twists, to be fair, but that's what he's most known for, is yeah. stuff like well, that. That's a lot of times when people like, will try and go things outside their comfort zone, too. Like, yeah, but that's You don't want it to be as predictable. Like, it was really, oh, this is going to happen this way. And I have no problem with him doing that if he just wanted to experiment a little first to get his feet wet before jumping into something like that. Well, you know, something that's so beloved. Yeah. You know, and you, like if he came out with a movie that was somewhat like some kind of fantasy action film that was like, not like The Last Airbender, but, you know, I mean, into that area and you could see what he was going to do and you're going to like, you know what, I could see that motherfucker making that movie and doing good with it. I had actually just read an article about a week or two ago over this, uh, the way it started out is it was actually very close to the show and then whatever company that was that produced it came in and they were like no I want to change all this stuff and he was like no 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 it has to be this way like Shyamalan was fighting for this stuff and like no you gotta do it this way and eventually just kind of threw his hands up I, you know you can hear all these hearsays it, this was like coming from like him or it wasn't like interviews from him it was like from the the guy who ran the camera and the guy who, like the, the sound guys who were saying this like I don't know because at the same time even if that even if you want to say that's true or that might have happened I'm sure some of it might have happened no but I'm I know, not I, like I, taking all the blame I'm not saying like, oh well you know I know that it's the, still uh, your responsibility as the director to bring this quality stuff with what you got and because I, I know Nickelodeon was heavily involved in the process as well as well as the people who create, created the show. So, you know, you can almost say they're blamed too. They got know? shut out a lot of it. Like, yeah, they probably Nickelodeon did. did. It's From everything I heard about the thing, Nickelodeon twisted the movie to what they wanted it. And that and might be true. Shyamalan was just getting pissed. He wanted, if it wasn't for his pretty much set contract, there's virtually no way he could walk away. Mm -hmm. it, you can only walk away. That's bullshit anyway. Yeah, but then get sued. A true, a true artist will take the... Especially Shyamalan. It's not like he's hurting for money. You can take the fucking pay cut. No, no, man. He's... You could. A lot of, I mean, Brad Pitt's done that before. He's walked completely off a of set. What movie was that for? Uh, that one with him and Harrison Ford. I don't remember the name of it. Like The Lion's Den or something. I forget what it's called. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't do very well, and there wasn't a lot of press for it because of what happened. But um, basically, it was. It was pretty much the same thing you guys are talking about. Like uh, this, this, this. He read the script. The script was set, and as they were filming it, um, there were script changes, and it really pissed him off. And he's like, "This is not what I signed up for. This is what. This is what the character is. This isn't what I want to do." This kind of portrays. This is not what I wanted to do. This is not what I envisioned. And they're like tough shit. You're under contract. You there's nothing you can do about it. And he just walk, he just walked right out the fucking thing. He's like, fuck you guys. You know I had had a huge man crush on Brad Pitt before, <laughs> but I am popping and chubby for that guy right now. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. Cause I just watched Troy like not even three hours ago and. Seeing a well, half I mean, Brad Pitt it, running around. Since that incident happened, that was like back in. God, that was like 2000 when that happened. Since that happened, Brad Pitt has full creative. I mean, he be, he's like producer of half his shit now. Yeah, like World War Z and stuff. Yeah, he, he has full. So, you know, like he doesn't get in that situation anymore because of what that of that incident. So, and yeah, and then you, you say like they're under contract and there's nothing they can do. Like, bullshit. They. He could have done something. He's a human being. He can he can walk away from something. There's nothing obligating you to stay to anything other than your own human fear of I don't know getting sued or something like that. But you can walk away. And so that's bullshit. I don't believe that. And besides, in in the end, if you want to like really analyze Shyamalan shit, I mean the last one he did was like uh, the Will Smith family. Wasn't that great? Yeah, it wasn't that great either. So, <laughs> or, or that devil movie, the elevator one. The hell are you talking about? He did a movie called like Devil, or it didn't do well at all. Sounds like something Rob Zombie would do. It was like a 
like four people are trapped in an elevator and then like all this shit started happening and then they're like if that wasn't interesting enough um because there's like a killer in the elevator and they, they didn't know who the a killer was then the elevator was obviously stopped and they couldn't get to the elevator and then all this supernatural shit started happening they're like oh my god the devil's in the elevator with them now it was the devil the killer or was yeah the, the devil was the killer yeah yeah oh well, they're gonna die anyway then. <laughs> yeah. then, then, then it was a big race to figure out who the devil was. I'm sure once you get down to the last two people and you're like, you know, I know I'm not the devil, so I'm thinking you're the devil guy. <laughs> and then they end up dead and you're like, Holy shit, I'm the devil. <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't a good movie. Uh that's he was involved in it. I don't know if he directed it. That was actually my thought on that one. Like, if you're gonna get down to the last two and you kill him, it turns out you are actually the devil. That was my first thought when you said that. Who is it? Yeah. That would be a good twist. It's a very predictable twist, though. You think so? I think so. If, if I thought I don't of think, it... <laughs> I don't think that's what happened in the movie. Probably not, because I, if I can see something coming, I think but you might have a problem. Going back to The Last Airbender, I think the only way that movie could have worked was... And the same thing with Dragon Ball, too. If That had to be, like, one out of 16 movies. There's no way you can condense that. I don't, I don't think one out of sixteen. Maybe like one out of six. Like two movies. Well, I, per I think season. that was the plan. They were gonna do six movies. Like two movies per season. Like I can I see that. Like it'd have to be no, because even it'd be a three-hour movie, and you'd have to like you can't something that beloved and that detailed. I think you can't. The cut. first season, even the first and second season, especially. I, I really think at three hours you could do it in two movies and you could make it and I, I, hit enough of the key points and keep the right thing. And still put on some of the extra stuff, but you can trim some of the facts. There's a, there's a lot of like... There's a lot of useless. You don't need the Momo stuff. You don't need the... The Momo stuff is classic. All right, you keep that. Shit <laughs> that's in. what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't. I, I think that's my point right there. It's you. You're coming off of something that's already got a lot of detail, a lot of story behind it. There's even little moments and stuff. It, it matters. It sticks with you. Man. Yeah, yeah. It builds character. You can't really cut that out because it's something that's already established. That's why I said like something like that would have to be a really long movie or a TV series. Which it already was, and it did pretty well, so why the fuck are we even making a movie it did to well begin with? to make a, a generational <laughs> sequel after it. Yeah. Which is actually really good, too. I just finished watching the third I mean, season of that. I hell, if anything, you, if anything, if you wanted to add to the last Airbender thing, why don't you make a movie that took place before that? Like that stuff that's happening during the Hundred Years' War while he's like... Yeah. Like a prequel? Yeah. People would have watched that. That would have been interesting. It connected to the television show? And you have all kinds of freedom. I'm trying to think who they'd follow around, though. Like, would they follow around, like, the... Oh, you could follow around the first airbender and all the people discovering they have bending abilities. Now, they actually explain that away in the, uh, in the new series. Well, yeah, actually, I'm sure they it, have. It's a really good two-part episode. Yeah. But that happened, like, 10,000 years before any of this happened. Yeah. What's that mean? We'll be out of that. I would actually I would watch a prequel to The Last Airbender if it was, like, happening, like, a year or two prior to the start of the show and like the the whole right. movie is those two years leading up to like the events of what takes place yeah. like, and you're following around like the earth kingdom what's going on in the water tribe what's going on in the fire nation because the air nomads been that's like that's what like, yeah. the whole point of that is like it's something you haven't seen but it's part of something that you love because you've already you're already established with the show why remake the show it's already good you can't Remake the wheel. I can already see the climax in the whole movie, too. It's like when they hit the thing and the light shoots out of the, the, the big iceberg. That's, that's the end shot right that's, there. That's how you market that shit. That's how you do it. You don't make. You I don't try to remake. I think the, they could have did it really well with doing a prequel. That was my original thing when I said they shouldn't, you know, they should do a prequel to it. Well, I never even thought of a prequel, so... <laughs> Is they should have did that and started with the point of when the previous airbender died or basically was killed. Previous airbender? You mean the, the nomad people? No, the previous avatar. Avatar was avatar. killed. 
Well, you mean, you well they had flashbacks back. and stuff like that. Which but if they do the to the point, they started it with oh. the point of him dying and then showing the Fire Nation, you yeah, know, him yeah. declaring and him learning about the comet of saying, okay, this is where we're going to start oh, yeah. I'm just saying, doing like, the whole battle thing at there. That, at that point, you're, talk, you're not remaking something people love. You're adding to something that people love. And that's always going to be better. Like, why, why remake RoboCop? RoboCop was fine. Money. That's <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's stupid. Yeah, and that's the where the whole thing when it comes to like... There's billions of reasons to remake RoboCop, Jason. Like, it's like, that's where it comes to the studio because it's a business. And in a business aspect, when it comes to the art, that doesn't work. Because... It, and there is some I can kind of understand. RoboCop, again, you're looking at a futuristic show. Okay, technology has really changed in the past, just say, 10 years, let alone 20 years ago. We have smartphones on our wrists now. That hasn't come out yet. Yeah, they had the... Yeah, they had the no, it's out. No, no it's, it's not, they it's not out. out. They have the testing ones out. They have the bit. testing ones. It's coming out in like October or something like that. Yeah, it's not, it's not a consumer product yet. I've seen them. No, the yeah, iWatch or whatever. No, you, you haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but they had them in Verizon stores. Yeah. They might be advertising them so like you can pre-order them, but they're right. available. No, how it's not available. Yeah. They will. I heard it won't be available for a year. Huh? I heard it won't be available for at least a year. The iWatch thing. Yeah, I watch it. They're just they're just promoting it now. Like well, I know, like this you, is you have out. to have one. You have to have an iPhone in order to freaking yeah, use it. Yeah, and then the already bad. That's stupid. Like yeah. one of the So you have to have like two devices you have it on your wrist so you can do all the stuff on your right. wrist and on your phone. But yeah. anyway, that's just phone business. <laughs> Robocop. You're talking about Robocop. Technology you're trying to justify changed. Robocop. <laughs> yeah, technology's, technology's changed. Technology's changed and stuff, and that's one thing I kind of liked about the new Robocop. But it, it, they brought it into more present time of oh, what our you, technology is now. It's still in the future. What are we talking about this <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't make human cyborgs. Yeah, I'm have, talking they use. I hate modern they, technology. They upgraded though. the story. Is what yeah, you're saying. they upgraded more to where technology is heading now, not just guessing. More practical. Wow, you're totally off the mark there, because that's they in the first one. They it wasn't. It's that kind of type of movie isn't like so much protect predicting what's going to come. It's trying to tell a story, for one. But any technology they have in there... I mean, the, the technology side of it isn't the part of the story. The part of the story is the man and his travels through this fucking evil corporation. And nothing to do with the technology. The tech, if you're talking about just the special effects, CGI fucking sucks in that movie. And besides, it's rated PG-13, so they got rid of all the blood, all the swearing, and Robocop doesn't work without those things. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. So, no, no, it didn't need to be remade. The original was fine. If anything, that's another. That's another case. If you want to make that movie, make a fucking prequel. Make talk about the old Robocop. You make him a cameo or something. Whatever. They didn't need to make remake it. And put him in black fucking armor, make him look like fucking Iron Man made out with fucking Batman. <laughs> this gay ass that. rubber fucking suit. I'd watch that. <laughs> you can. There's probably a form of spoof of it somewhere. Or at least a fan <laughs> fiction or something. I'm sure a little bit of Fantastic. It, it's not necessary. And the only reason they did it is because of the name. And you, if you can see that. It, the more you know, the more people pay into this crap, the more they keep, they're gonna keep doing it. You know, like I just I, I'm just sick of it. I miss the old school special effects. I miss stop motion. I mean, when you with you put today's technology in with stop motion back then, you probably could have something just as seamless as CGI <coughs> at half the cost, and it would look well, just. Well, then you're gonna good. like box troll. That's not. That's not. That's. Uh, that's well, yeah, motion. yeah, that's stop motion. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, yeah, that's they. I guess they have been doing it, kind of. It's the same people who did Wallace and Gromit. Yeah. And Chicken Run. Yeah. Those I'm just saying, like you look at that. There's not the the, the 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 obvious stop to it. It's kind of more fluid these days. 
I mean, you look at Robot Chicken, even, you can... Those guys are, like, masters of stop motion at this point. But it's not just stop motion, too. It's, like, you know, like, uh... Creating those costumes and, the, and those set pieces and those model work. I mean, that's why I, like, I, I almost say, like, people like the original Lord of the Rings. Because they had great model set pieces blended with CGI. It looks seamless. Like it was a real fucking thing that you could go see. The only difference that I... And I think the only thing... As well as... It was cool that they showed they could do that. But now people have seen they can do that. Like an avatar. To in depth do the background. Yeah, now I know that since Avatar. And so many people are upset of... Where is that? They show they can do this now. No, 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 they showed James Cameron can do this now. Yeah, James Cameron's kind of a master of fucking uh, effects work. Yeah. And Does nobody's it done it. It's, no. That was it, and it was what done. Is, what has James, James Cameron had come out since Avatar? He doesn't need to have anything come out since Avatar. Exactly. <laughs> He's fucking loaded. He, he was he loaded works after on, Titanic. I know. <laughs> he works on shit when he wants to. He's on his own time schedule. The <laughs> motherfucker doesn't give a damn. <laughs> I know he's working on Avatar too, and I guess the hold up there is that he wants to do a lot of underwater shots with submersionals, and it's going to cost like a billion fucking dollars. And the studio's like, no. And he's like, well, we're not making the movie till we get it. (laughs) James Cameron puts his foot down, and it's like the studios kind of wet themselves because they're like, shit. Can we do this in CGI? And James Cameron probably like, no. <laughs> we need you in the water shots. We can do. We did for the abyss. It's not that hard. Yeah, that was really hard actually. <laughs> it's a good movie. Though. It went way over budget. It is a really good movie. Yeah, good movie. Have you even seen uh, the abyss? You should go check it out. It doesn't. It's, it was it came out like ninety three or ninety two or yeah. something like that. Does not feel like it. it the first no, time I watched it was like two years ago. Isn't that weird? Like, and I thought it came out in like early two thousands. Like I almost got that from Ghostbusters too. When we went and saw that. Like it almost didn't seem like it. It aged very very well. Yeah. The only the only fine the only time I ever questioned something that was going on in the movie was uh, there was the scene where uh, oh let me think of the names the keymaster is with uh, Egon and Egon tells Janine, I need Ray here now. And then they show uh, Winston and Ray in the car, and they're driving over um, like the George Washington Bridge. And uh, they're talking about religion and shit. And, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, why does he just call him a cell phone? Oh, that's right, it's fucking A's. He's <laughs> a cell phone. <laughs> and, like, I've had that happen before in a couple, like, horror movies. And then, like, we like, we need to go get help. I'm like, just call for fuck. Oh, that's right. It's fucking Friday the 13th in the 80s. They didn't have cell phones back then. God damn it. <laughs> she was a lot scarier back then. <laughs> Who was? This is, this is, there's some horror movies. Cause they, oh, yeah, because they were, were fucking R. <laughs> you, were, you were isolated. You were alone. It was just you with no... Look, I mean, seriously, look, look, at the ra- look at the ratings since the 1980s to now on horror flicks. They're all PG-13 now. They're not fucking scary. Not all of them. Some of them are what name an R one? Was an Oculus R? No. Uh, Shutter Island R? No. Wasn't <laughs> that new uh, paranormal something? No. Paranormal activity, activity or whatever. I don't think that. I think the first one was R, but the other ones after that weren't. I I I even question that. Uh, to tell you the truth. I, I I can tell you that I think I think uh, the new Evil Dead was R. I think it was. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was PG-13. The Grudge. I thought that one was right. No, it was PG-13. And uh, the new Exorcism. No. I thought that one was. No. They don't make make rated R movies anymore because you you don't have that broad audience. Like, people under 13 can't get in those motherfuckers. And it's all a fucking business. They don't make they don't make rated R movies anymore. <laughs> That's just dumb to me. That's the whole point. Of, it is uh, the whole fucking point because there should be fucking gore. There should be swearing because there's fucking zombies coming. And when you go, oh my fucking god, there's a fucking zombie there. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
and blood's everywhere. You're like, holy fucking shit, there's blood everywhere. <laughs> that's a rated R movie. That's a fucking, that's a zombie movie. That's a horror movie. That fucking new Dracula movie that's coming out that you want to go see. I want to go see that too. That's fucking PG-13. <laughs> He gave me shit because I reposted it. Yeah, because it's going to suck. <laughs> I like the actor in it. I'll give him that. The guy that's in the fucking new Hobbit movie. I don't think parts of it look bad. But you can't make a fucking rated PG-13 fucking Dracula movie. It's the same thing I have with Twilight. You can't make fucking horror movies fucking PG-13. Uh, technically, Twilight's a love story. What the fuck ever. <laughs> There was no horror about Twilight. No, 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 no. <laughs> the whole series itself was a horror. But not because of what's in the movie. Well, I guess that is kind of what's in the movie. But <laughs> the motherfucker fell in love with a baby. <laughs> I don't I just... That's what you get when you get a Mormon to write a vampire movie. <laughs> Those crazy assholes, man. <laughs> You know, I didn't see that coming at all. No, I didn't it did. read the book. <laughs> it I was in the book. I didn't read the book or anything like that. I watched the last movie. I got up and it was like The funny thing is I try to I try to I try my best to warn Brent away from bad shit like this all the fucking time. I'm like, Brent, don't watch that, you're not gonna like it. Brent's like, Well, this is a little too bad. I don't want to say it. My wife wants to say it. We want to we do whatever the fuck I'm like, Brent. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> I didn't mind the first, what, four? It got to the fifth one of the series, and that shit happened. And I don't like, know how the fuck you managed to sit through the... The first one, I got dragged to the theater because two of my friends were fucking Big Twilight, and they're like, oh, you gotta check it out. It's a great movie, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know. The preview like really shitty. And this is why I can watch a trailer, and I can go, I don't think I want to watch that. <laughs> I went and saw that fucking movie, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> this is horrible. I didn't this isn't going to make dime one. It bad. It made thousands of dimes. Lots and lots of dimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Ted. Where were you at? I don't know. Your light's blinking over there. I totally got lost in it. It is kind of hypnotic. I'm going off like three hours of sleep right That's now. That's just stupid. I, I don't know what it is. Hell, Last today night I, I just could not sleep. Today I woke up and was like, mm, I think I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> I don't to sleep. Yeah, I don't get it out. <laughs> I had to get up and go to work. But last night, I don't know, last night I just could not fall asleep. Like, no matter what I tried, I had everything off. I was in the dark. I was just relaxing. Yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's, don't get me wrong, there's times when I'm like, you know what, what am I, should I have had kids, am I really missing out? And then I take a nap, I'm just felt like, you know what, never mind. <laughs> hey, you can still take a nap with kids, you just gotta make sure they're asleep too. Lots of NyQuil. Oh, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give my kid a NyQuil. I'm not like, look, I'm like, like, OD on it, I'm just like a little bit, you know, like a little half cup. I'm not giving your NyQuil. Out. Just read her a damn story. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying you're that boring. You're like, all right. No, but usually when once you upon a time, she's out. <laughs> usually when you read to them, you can calm down and you can, uh, their heartbeats with your heartbeat, you sync up and you they can feel your calmness over them. Oh, what are you reading? Them? Oh, we read uh, Aladdin. We read, uh, oh, really? Yeah. So I probably pick like a Stephen King book. And- I did read her some Game of Thrones once and she was confused the entire time. She's like, What's called Droko? It's and she said it just the cutest way. That's that's funny. She's like I thought she might have been like, What's sex? <laughs> I, I didn't Why is everybody having sex? I didn't read those parts. <laughs> I know so you just like skipped half the book. You're like, and the end. Because I know the conversation that's gonna happen with her mom. Is not the one I want to have right now. <laughs> Why good. is she telling me she rode a pony the other day? Well, we went to uh, the, the what? What do you mean by pony? Like, <laughs> you ever seen that video that guy made? Probably. Where his daughter's in the back seat. She's like got a milkshake, and she's like, 
my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And the guy, and then the guy like throws the milkshake out the window, and <laughs> it's like silence in the back. He's like, can just drive with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen that one? No, but I probably would not do that either, though. I'd, I'd you wouldn't throw her milkshake out? <laughs> I'd let her drink her milkshake. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, please don't sing that song. <laughs> or I'd probably sing the song with her. Yeah, because it was like the guy was holding up the... It was like a little vine. The guy was holding up the camera, like, towards the... And he's, like, at the steering wheel, and she's in the back seat, the car seat, and she's got, like, a little milkshake. She's like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like... And then it cuts into him, like, throwing the milkshake out the window. <laughs> And then it cuts back to the, and she's just like sitting in the back, like pissed, and he's like happy. <laughs> yeah, those viners are actually getting pretty. Viners cool. are fucking genius, man. That's what killed like two second films, though. Unfortunately. Yeah. But it's still genius. Like, should we should we do some vines? Do we have to actually put it up on Vine? I think so. We, we can put it up on like, on YouTube. Cause on I know, Vine like, on YouTube? Like, I know Asian Eyes does, does Vines. You, you can put it up on YouTube and on, on maybe, Vine. Maybe we'll do some Vines. I don't know. I don't. Know. It's hard to think of something funny. Yeah. Comedy is like bitch to write. <laughs> like on the spot. And you, when you see it, it's like, oh, so obvious. Yes, that is hilarious. But then you like sit down and try to think of like something funny to write. And you're like, poop, fart. Sex. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's that's the materials for a great joke. There, poop, fart, and sex. <laughs> I'm gonna have the eighty flicks. <laughs> Tell me, Porky's was fucking in depth thinking. <laughs> I didn't say that was that. <laughs> Caddyshack. Can Caddyshack can was fucking pretty <laughs> simple things. Sex, beer, and drugs. I miss my time in life. <laughs> that that's, why, was that's why it kind of pissed me off. And like I remember, like when American Pie came out, and they're like, "Oh my God, this is such a genius movie!" Back flashback to the eighties, and I'm like, "It's just fucking fucking people. It's not ingenious. It wasn't ingenious then. <laughs> you just may have forgotten about it." <laughs> he did put his penis in a pie. He did, <laughs> which is awkward to say the least yeah and Jason Biggs <laughs> hasn't had a fucking career after that either he has too he's done some what has he done well he did Loser which is a really good movie He did that was not movie. a great movie I enjoyed that movie you might have liked it but it's not well known I'm sure half the people are fucking hitting IMDB right now going what the fuck is Loser what the fuck he uh, had the uh, Netflix show uh, going on at Orange is the New Black which is a big hit right now how much is he in that? I know he's in that, but how much is he in that? Because I thought every trailer I've ever seen, I saw him like when the, when they first started advertising it, and every trailer since then, I've always seen like prison chicks. Well, it's all about the girl. It's in it. I haven't yeah, actually, exactly. I haven't watched the show because I don't really care that much about it. But I think he has like he's like a writer on it and stuff. Like <laughs> he might be a good writer. Yeah, he's done I'm, other things. I just I don't pay attention. He did Jersey Girl. <laughs> yes. Oh, he was the assistant. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. My bro- my dude. Wow, dude is. You just you try- I'm trying to make the argument like Jason Big hasn't done anything since since American Pie. You're like, no, no, he's done all these things, and I'm like, what about Jersey Girl? Was he in Jersey Girl? <laughs> it is two in the morning. I'm going on like three hours of sleep. And right. your, your light is freaking me out right now. Like, I can't not look away at it. It's like thank, thank you. I, 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 I keep seeing it. I know I can't I can't do it. It's blinking at me. I'm just. God damn it! <laughs> That's stupid. It worked. Uh, <laughs> That's stupid. Except it completed the task at hand. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> My plan would have worked eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Uh, how about you just congratulate Brent on solving the problem? <laughs> That'd be too hard. I congratulate you on solving the problem quicker than I could have, but my plan would have been far better and achieved a lot more. <laughs> what are you going to do, shoot me? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting to that point. <laughs> I 
I don't have guns in this house I can kill you, but I have guns in this house I'll hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'll just kick you in the head. And I'll just keep shooting you with the airsoft gun. Yeah, it's, Who's going to win? <laughs> I've been shot by airsoft guns before. It's not that bad. In penis? I've had worse things than that than in my penis. I'm sure. Maybe. That might be true, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here answer. is doubting that. Not from her. Ooh. Ooh. Good times, Brent. <laughs> Don't tell Kim. Kim? Oh. Ugh. Man. Yeah. Well. Is there anything you want to talk about or you want to wrap it up? Um. Follow um, No, I, I, feel like, I feel like we talked about a lot. We have achieved something tonight. Yeah. Something that's going to change the world. At the very least. Care Rangers make it happen. That's not gonna happen. You have faith in the world. I have faith in the world. I have no faith in Care Rangers. How about Power Bears? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so against love, Jason? I'm not. And nothing in my statement has said I was against love at all. Why do you hate bears? I don't hate bears. The fucking goddamn. Film studio name oh. is Warfare. I named it. <laughs> what in the hell do you think I hate bears for? Because you're turning them into a cyborg. And you put him in war. You sent him to war. Yeah, because he's going to do awesome. You're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's not a horrible you're person. like, go, my berry friend. Fight these armies. And try you're to having them fight the Power Rangers. <laughs> At first, till they team up, and then they kick Zed and Rita's ass. So they are fighting. At first, yeah. 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 And then they come, and then they become bestest of friends. You're like trying to justify dog fighting by saying my kids play Pokemon. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's an analogy. Yeah, but not, it's not even close to what I'm saying. It sounds like it to me. I, why do you assume anything is dog fighting? Dog fighting is very. You see, he keeps our he keeps our NFL players in like lucrative fields. Yeah, here I thought it was just because they played a game well. No, they get paid way too much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, oh, the Ray Rice guy got suspended for like indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, originally it was supposed to be two games. The yeah. outrage was so outrageous. The yeah. NFL stepped in. No, 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 it was because the other leak, the other tape leak, where yeah, it shows wait. him knocking that chick out. Yeah, the it was supposed to be like uh, yeah, at first, mutual. Yeah, at uh, first they knew they knew she got beat up, but they thought it was like aggression on both sides. And yeah. this was clearly they, they, the first thing is just like, did you hit me in the face? And then the next one's just like, bam, you're down. Yeah, she was down. He dragged her out of the elevator. Yeah. He knocked her the fuck out. <laughs> have, you not, have you not seen that yet? No. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, I saw like the day it went up. That motherfucker, like, oh, anybody oh, that oh. fucking hits a woman like that, you guys can just go rock fucking hell because there's no fucking excuse for that shit. App apparently, like, all these, like, women are out there like, now, like, wearing his jersey and, like, supporting him I know. in this. And I'm just, I'm bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At the same time, if you're a woman that supports this shit and doesn't mind getting knocked around, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Uh, it's that's the same for any human idiot. being, though. It doesn't have to just be, like, a woman. If you're, like, in a relationship, oh, yeah. and you're getting beaten daily or, like, knocked around or anything, then, no, get the fuck out of there. Like, but I'm just saying, if even you're a man or a woman, you're getting beaten daily, you justify it by going, well, you know, he <laughs> pays the bills. It's so. okay. <laughs> you're but, a fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> There's no need for that shit. Get, you're being idiots. You're masochistic. You know, some people like pain, but this is a different kind of thing. This is all about. Like, this isn't about pain at all. This is being fucking loyal to somebody who's fucking not loyal about, to you. This is about dominance. Yeah. Well, you don't know he's not loyal. You don't know he's cheated on anything. All you know is that he physically abuses people. No, I like mean, I would still classify that as being loyal to your partner by not beating them. Yeah, that's the end of that. Because you're just like, no, not even if you're into it. Like, even yeah, if you're yeah. into it, there's like, there's that mutual respect of. You can snap me around if you want to. Okay. No. I don't that. That's, yeah. That's stupid. Hit me again, bitch. No. No. Yeah. Hey, man, everyone has to teach their own. As long as you're both like, yeah, it's fine. But if it's 
clearly not consensual, but you're like too afraid to leave, that's a different story. No, I disagree. I disagree. Well, I mean, if you're both into it, like you're saying, like that sounds like it's a sexual act, what you're kind of describing. Yeah. You don't think I'm just like sitting on the couch and I want someone no, to I, 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 I'm like, talking, go to the dishes. Yes, darling. I'm like, talking please. about someone who like closed fist punched him in the face. Oh, I'm not going to fuck out. But. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the kinky sex shit. Mm-hmm. Even though that could probably have its limits too. And if you're not yeah, really... Yeah, got safe words for it. Well, I'm just saying, if you're not really into that as well, get the fuck out of the relationship or say something and you're like, hey, I don't, I don't like you when you hit me in the face. <laughs> it doesn't turn me on. In fact, it kind of makes me wet myself a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no need for that. And people support it. You're fucking idiots. I mean, even if you're like fans of the website and you disagree with that, don't be fans of us. Go ahead and run the scrap because I don't want to. I don't want you as fans. That's just stupid. Don't be stupid, people. And uh, buckle up. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah, be safe. Yeah, um, live a long time. You don't know what's after that. You might think you know because you read a book, but you could be wrong. Teach your kids not to take candy from strangers. If anyone lost their dog, send them a Facebook link to find it. Don't physically help them. What? I was watching Criminal Minds earlier, and uh, this little <laughs> girl got abducted for trying to help this guy find his lost dog, and he just didn't even have a dog. Yeah. Well, that just sounds like keep an eye on what your kids keep an eye on your kids' activities at all times. That doesn't sound like. No, I, I, I don't think you have to like, keep your eye on your kids like, too, all the time. I think you just need to raise your kids enough to have enough fucking common sense to not... That yeah, wouldn't them. hurt either. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. If I had kids, which I don't plan on having You probably kids. put, like, tracking chips in their brain or something. No, I put it on a shoe. Uh, Actually, now they do have a thing you can put a tracking chip in your kid. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. I've, already, I've already looked into that. Uh, if I, if I had kids... And that, you can no, I put it in their shoe. No, you can. What if it, it like, like goes under their skin like it's a freaking dog? Like they don't have a do tracking a chip that will. La- they don't have a track. They don't have a chip that will la- track like that. No. No, they don't have that. That doesn't exist. Because that would require to have some kind of access to uh, a Wi-Fi signal, and that would have to require a lot of power. Brain. So you could have it attached to a cell phone, like you're saying, that would work just fine, but. The problem with that is that the first thing, if your kids are getting kidnapped, you're going to throw out the window. My, my idea would be to embed it in their shoe, and every night I'd recharge it. Or you just have a mat where you put your shoes at and when they come in and take them off. Oh, that too. Charges it up. Yeah, I, I would do that, because I would not... I don't trust anybody, and I would Bob, not bro? trust my kids. <laughs> I just fell over. Scare the bejeebers out of me. Bejeebers. I didn't know you had jeebers in you. Time He's awake now. For like a minute. Until <laughs> <laughs> the adrenaline wears off. Yeah. And then I'm just going to be hungry and want to take a nap again. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. I think. Uh, that's it. That's, you know, that's, that's it for this podcast. Unless anyone wants to add their last little. Well, back. I would say if you want to sponsor us, go ahead and uh, shoot us some kind of email about that. Maybe we can um, give you some kind of advertisement on here. Yeah. Um, like and subscribe. Maybe like and subscribe. That always helps. Share our stuff. Help um, us, uh, yeah, share it. Move it around. Uh, make some comments. Maybe make some suggestions of stuff we can do in the future. We'll do that. Preferably don't dislike things. It's kind of negative. You can dislike it if you like. I'm not going to just it then. Hey, if you didn't like what you heard, you can go fuck yourself and go ahead and dislike it. <laughs> That's their right. They can do that. Let's stay positive, mm-hmm. folks. Let's just have an open forum discussion. And, uh, yeah, that's what we can, we can work through this. You're telling them to go fuck themselves. That's not they don't like it. They can that's not open forum. That's like that's a one no direction forum. It's like, hey, excuse me, I have a problem. Oh, really? No, go I, fuck yourself. Get out of no, here. No, I'm saying because if we're having... I, I feel like this is a very open forum. We're very polite. And if you still don't like it after all that, then you're just an asshole. That's all I'm like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> But there is no rebuttal for anything. You're just like, oh, well, you know, I'm pretty nice. And just, you know, you disagree with me. Then you can go. I'd say if you disagree with me, you can disagree all you like. But there's a comment section for that. There's no reason to dislike anything because of that. 
you could just go, I just disagree with what you guys said. Blah, 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 blah. I like getting beat in the face. Well, okay. <laughs> and they like, okay. Get the fuck out. Yeah, I already said I don't want you guys as fans anyway, so you can go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> what a people person this guy is, I tell you. Yeah, I try. Good night, everybody.